We have a really good Big 12 ACC Super Tuesday men's basketball doubleheader for you this week. Number nine, Kansas is in Norman to take on Oklahoma at 7 Eastern, 6 Central. Then number eight, Duke squares off against Florida State. Both games are on ESPN and the app. And a foul on Fancom Mengiadu. That's her fourth foul. It has been a tough day for the interior players for South Florida who had played so well in their win over Tulane. Well, and they, they can't afford to lose to, to lose her. She's just a big, strong presence inside that just affects jobs, affects shots. And so, uh, yeah, that's, that's you. and here's what's surprising, Brenda. South Florida has not led in this basketball game. They got down 7-0 and they've been chasing UCF ever since. They're having an official review right now on that foul by Fancom Mengianadu as let's watch away from the ball it, and uh, you see the push off, the result of the push off there. We'll see if we can get another angle as she goes through and she just, she no. just a, it just looks like a swim move. I mean, she yes, yeah, she commits the foul, but I, I don't think there's anything that's gonna upgrade that to an intentional foul. Did you see anything? No, I don't. I mean, she's, yeah, she's just making a swim move and just catches a, her across the, across her face. No, I don't I mean, think that's intentional. That's just a basketball move, trying to get position. Right. And you're taught that. You're taught to do a swim move, to, to throw your arm across, and then step your leg across to, to get positioning. So I yeah, would not the, think this was intentional. I wouldn't think so either. But as she, I mean, she raises it up, and her elbow comes right across the face. So, it, yeah. it, I mean, I can see the officials possibly calling that. But I, I'm in total agreement with you that that's she's trying to make the move to get open but right. they may they may call because it looks like she's leading with the elbow there right to the face right and it is above her shoulder so she does the swim move and uh you know it it, it it could go either way i i personally think it's a basketball move but the official you know, the, the, the this is this is stop play because we're trying to protect the players and, you know we don't want anybody to intentionally get hurt and so I, I understand going to the monitor. So the officials today, Rod Creech, John Capolino, and Meadow Overstreet going to conduct the review to see if this needs to be upgraded to an intentional foul or a disqualifying foul. Yeah, and I'm glad all three, you know, it, it's great that all three officials are looking at it. So what happens is, watch her, she's turning her body, you're supposed to throw your arm, and then you're supposed to throw your leg around and, and get that position right. See how she's gotten position? But obviously you're not supposed to, to make contact with the defender. Yeah, the elbow right to the face of the defender. So the officials coming together. Menji, uh, Fenka Menjianadu now with 12 points today, five of six from the field to go along with eight rebounds. That's her fourth foul. And, and when, Brendan, when you're closely guarded like that, if you do, your, your, your swimming needs to stay above, you know, close, closer to your head where you're not sticking your elbow out a little bit. And, and, and if, if the defender wasn't as close, she could have gotten away with that and not hit him and, and it would have been absolutely fine. But the defender was really, was really crowding the offensive player. So you've got to be really mindful when you make a move like that, that you don't make any contact, especially in the, the into the face or the head area. One coach is going to be ha happy and yeah. one coach is not going to be happy. You know, both of these coaches, Jose Fernandez and Katie Abrahamson uh, Henderson, really talked to us about how long, how well the two coaches get along with one another. There's a great respect level between the two of them, but you can see they're both listening very closely to the officials right now. We asked them about the war on I-4, and they both said, "Look, we're these two teams are trying to win a." regular conference season uh, championship and a tournament championship. And it, he says it, and Jose said, it always seems to come down to these two teams, which I think it will. So great respect for each other, but there's still a rivalry. They, they both want to win and they, they obviously both want to win their, their conference. So we're 
trying to get word. So it is a personal foul. We knew that, and it has been upgraded to an intentional foul by the officials. So that, so Dulce's out, correct? Is that five? Well, she got, the, her, her, the personal foul was the fourth foul, so it's just an upgraded foul. I see, I see. And then, but we'll have the two free throws. And then they'll get the ball. And the, and the possession. Right. So wouldn't it take So there, just, there it is, and, and, and so they're, they're upgrading to see if it's excessive in nature or warrants more than just a common foul, and they have ascertained that, yes, it does rise to the level of being called an intentional foul, so it's just different um, administration here. But Fancom Menjianadu still on the court. She's got the four fouls, so the, the free throws by Lewis... She wasn't the one that was fouled. The UCF can choose who will shoot the free throws and a, a rare miss from Lewis. She connects on the second. Dulce just, you, you, you can't leave. Basically she led with her elbow and made contact and, and uh, yeah. So the two fouls for the upgrade and now possession for UCF. <laughs> 